Hello, and welcome to Tuesdays with Thomas. I'm Thomas Douglas, the Artistic Director of the Bach Choir of Pittsburgh, and I'm very pleased to be here with you today and glad that you're here with me also. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a piece that's very rousing and it's exciting. It's called Baba Yetu. And in just a minute or so, I will explain to you where it comes from and what it's about. But I'll tell you, it was written by composer Christopher Tin. He's an American born composer, born in 1976 to immigrant parents from Hong Kong. Christopher attended Stanford University where he was a double major in music composition and also in English literature. And he had a minor also in art history. At the beginning of his career, he worked as a staff transposer or transcriber, actually. He transcribed by ear music scores by John Williams and James Horner. We, we know James Horner from the Titanic film score and John Williams from all the Star Wars and many other uh, film scores. So that was his first job. But then he wrote this piece called Baba Yetu and it's Swahili for the, the text is the Lord's Prayer in Swahili. We know that Swahili is one of um, the major languages in Africa, even though it's one of 1,500 to 2,000 languages that are on that continent. But uh, for this composition, Christopher won two Grammy Awards, um, one for the best crossover classical album, and this one for Baba Yetu for the best arrangement for orchestral and choral music. It was the first Grammy that was awarded to a song that was written primarily for a video game. That's something we didn't know. It was Civilization IV was the name of the video game for which Baba Yetu was written. So his music has a lot of classical influence, but he's written mostly for orchestra and chorus. Baba Yetu has been played around the world, the National Symphony Orchestra, the Welsh National Orchestra, and many uh, orchestras around the world and choral organizations have featured this piece. He won a second Grammy Award for a crossover classical album called Calling All Dawns. It's an uninterrupted three section piece about day, night, and dawn which represents birth, death, and rebirth. And it was written in 12 languages, Polish, Maori, Persian, French. So the composer we'll hear today has had a, a nice long career in music from around the world with influences of classical music and world music. So let's take a listen to Baba Yetu. It's the Lord's Prayer in Swahili.
So Baba Yetu was part of a concert done by the Bach Choir called The Promise of Freedom. And you know, when I was putting that concert together, I was thinking that it would be important to represent music that was done uh, and produced and written from oppressed people, from people who have endured indignities all around the world, from every culture. And I don't say from every race, because I believe there's only one race, the human race. But every ethnicity and every culture has experienced oppression and out of oppression can come uh, just a valuable, rich, heartfelt, passionate expression through music. And that's what we tried to represent in this concert. So this is a holiday weekend coming up. And I would love for you to take a couple minutes out of your day and time and think about what this holiday actually means. July 4th, the 4th of July, it's to commemorate the Declaration of Independence of the United States. That's when the Continental Congress declared that the 13 American colonies were no longer subordinate or subject to the monarch of Britain, King George III, and were now united free and independent states. Wow, that's really something. United, free, and independent. That's what the holiday was all about. Let's reflect on that a little this week. So my last reminder is that if, if you're gonna be out to barbecues and parades and all that stuff this weekend, put on your mask. Simple as that. Thanks for being with me today and keep some distance with each other. I should have said that too. Put on your mask, stay away from other people. We got to do something about this virus. So be well, and I'll see you next week. God bless. <laughs>